Uh oh. Oh, a beautiful shawl. What a lovely.
movie that Joe so gratefully pointed out came out in 1997. The movie oh, I wow. picked for tonight, the movie that Joe won, I don't remember how that went. It was only 10 days ago, I think. We recorded so much in the last week, two weeks. Um, no, we didn't but, record. It's just that you have released everything. No, no, I recorded a lot, too. My but, man, look at, look at him. Let's go. He's just strutting all over you, Jesus. TJ, man. TJ. Oh, he's peacocking around. It's TJ, I, you're just, I, no, TJ deserves I, to peacock around. He won I, a game. That's fair. TJ, TJ winning a game, game is a big deal. That's pretty awesome. Yep. Anyway, fair. let's talk about Suicide Kings. 1997, starring a rogues gallery, a who's who of hot boys from the 90s. Uh, you got... Uh, Sean Patrick Flannery, Jay Moore, Henry Thomas, uh, Johnny Galecki, Jeremy Sisto. Also uh, at the helm, you got the great Christopher Walken and Dennis Leary hanging on like a goddamn dingleberry, just not doing anything in this movie. Totally useless. Um, the plot of the I movie is these like, I get to mention they, they probably met in prep school. They're friends from a rich background, a bunch of white boys um, decide they're going to kidnap a mobster and force him to like help them find his sister or one of the guy's sisters has been kidnapped and also front the ransom money because even though their dad's rich he doesn't have he can't get the money to pay i have Um, one i have one question in this okay all right just Just one one. just one well i have a lot but just one just mute yourself after this. Was it time. was it was it enough to interrupt him during the synopsis? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this has been super yeah. important. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah, so important. I think, it, I think it is. Okay, are they Go supposed to be in high no. school? Mm-mm. No, no, because no. one of them's in medical school. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I missed that. All right. Because How could when you miss got him, one guy was right. almost a doctor. You said, <laughs> I, mean, I, don't think, I don't think Joe was watching very closely. But, well, when he missed, when he got, when when Big Bang Theory got so upset about <laughs> the liquor cabinet, I was like, are they in high school? Oh no, no, he's just a wuss. He's just like a daddy's boy. He's just scared, you know. Okay. Ira, he's the man. But to be fair, oh, Ira's man. the man. Yeah. Um. So anyway, the movie basically follows them in their plot and how it they're inept and unprepared and uh it unravels when i when i picked this and when i saw it talked about online the people were saying how it's like a you know one of those post pulp fiction uh you know kind of thrillers and i get it but to me it felt much more like post uh usual suspects I was right saying, like, when you get a lot of monologuing and telling anybody. stories and unreliable narrators yeah. and twists and turns and yeah, funny that's, I that's, know, that's how it's i describe it I finished this movie like two minutes before recording, so I couldn't Google when it came out. But I literally wrote, what the fuck is that Kaiser Solse ending with the (laughs) girl walking in the pier? But yeah, it makes more sense that it came out after Usual Suspects. For sure, it feels like a Usual Suspect, especially with all the flashback sequences. It's a lot of flashbacks. Yeah, a lot of like people telling monologues about things that happen and you see in little flashes of them and stuff. Well, how many people's first time? Oh, yeah. Josie. Oh, everybody's first time. Oh, great. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, do we want to give uh, – you guys want to – I don't know. How do you want to do that then? You yeah. Wanna... Uh, so for me, I mean, the casting I think was incredible for this movie. Like, yeah. For these type of films, I think with the 90s, that benefits 90s. We're to like that... game war and things. I'm yeah, like, like oh, imagine this coming out now. This. You'd have to have – like we'll go back to our – you know, hey, you said that was – Timothy Timothy Chalamet has to be in this. Fucking so and so has to be in this. Like all big actors, but this was, that was like, my first note. It was like Jeremy Sisto, Galecki, fucking Moore, um, uh, Sean Patrick Flannery, and like these weird yeah, little like it's all on the back of Christopher Walken. Yeah. He's clearly the star, and then they packed it with like kind of like yeah, up and comers. You know? Oh God, I want to get to. Uh, I just like I have this one fucking certain point that I want to make at the end of the right. I'm wait for the end of the fucking whole thing. To talk about it, but don't forget it. Write it down. No, 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 no. I help. remember it because it makes me so angry throughout the entire film. It has something to do with Dennis Leary, and I'm just gonna okay. let it go. Oh, he's right. now he sucks ass. Yeah, you no, can no, no, say no, it right no, up. Yes, front. yeah, sure. But like, dude, who gives a fuck about the shoes? Uh-huh. It wasn't funny. Shut the fuck up about Yeah, they're doing a lot of filling time. Okay, Leary, no. They think do you want to? Uh, uh, do you want to do anything else? Because I really want to get into what he just said. Because I think no. that's one of the best parts. We haven't really talked about anything. So. Yeah. No, 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 Joe, Joe. What was your first impression, Joe? 
Um, I mean, it was like fun. It was, you know, it was fine. But what what stood out to me? You mentioned Jay Moore. That's my first thought of the whole movie was, oh, this is when we put Jay Moore in everything. I just recently watched like, Go also, and like, like he's in that. He's it, it good in these crazy movies, no but one has I ever, don't like it. No one shows Mafia yet, which is something weird. I think that like me might have been mafia. for this. Yeah. Like, I've like seen you should mafia. be like, oh, let's watch yeah. Mafia one day. But like, I wish I never would pick that. But I'm like, ah, I mean, I saw it in theaters. And I, like, <laughs> think that's Robbie all I think hands. about. <laughs> well, Robbie, yeah, James, I think about making us watch time. Mafia. That's sick. <laughs> James Bond at this time would have been in another Dennis Leary classic with Small Soldiers. Like, oh, which yeah. also has yeah. an amazing cast. Yeah. But hey, that was my like my impressions. Of this movie were like. Oh, I did. I did get a little Pulp Fiction vibe from the dialogue, right? It was trying to be snappy, yeah, and there's it's little very snappy. The dialogue very like small. if Pulp Fiction was PG thirteen, um, like especially when Jay Moore is kind of explaining everything to Christopher Walken. I love the line where he's like, "And you've got money, paper. That's the good kind." You know what I mean? He's like really rattling off his little speech. You know, like I I was explaining this movie, or at least what I thought this movie was, to a younger uh, coworker of mine, like a lot younger. And I was like, yeah, I think it's a Pulp Fiction knockoff. And he completely didn't, like, know what it meant. He was like, oh, what does that mean? You know, when I had explained to him, like, oh, like a John Travolta reviving the career and, like, snappy dialogue and, like, and the, kind like of non-linear storytelling that yeah. became very popular. <laughs> and, and and I was like, there's a string of them. We've done a ton on Flyover. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the, the, it, it was, for five, it, the movie just kind of... The movie just kind of moved for me, and then, like, I don't know, I thought the whole plot line of the girl was just kind of stupid. Like, they're fucking in a car at some point. Like, it was just a very, Anyone like, wasted... Where she's from? There's a lot of wasted screen time. The faculty. In an hour and... She's in the faculty. <laughs> yeah, there was, like, a lot of wasted screen time in, like, an hour and 40 minute movie. She was also the mastermind in the faculty. Yeah, yeah. yeah she, that I mean, was like that, that was the whole my, deal in movies uh, around this time. Apparently, was like the know. innocent looking girl who uh, turns out to be the mastermind. So you said I don't know if you want to do your first time thing before I even jump back in. Uh, Those yeah, first impressions, just like based on what you thought you were getting yeah. into compared to what you saw. I had or whatever. fun. I had I, fun when the guys were just being guys. I like uh, I'll add on to that. I'll add on to that, but I don't wait until it. I uh. I feel like it was stacked against, like the the expectation was stacked against it, because I legit hate Dennis and I legit hate Jay. Like I do not like them at all. Like it's one of those few actors. Who is that the fat I, guy from? Dennis what's he, what's he from? Sopranos. He's in the Sopranos. He's the FBI. So he's FBI the, agent. The guy opposite Dennis Leary. He's like, don't touch the fucking buttons. Yeah. Like, that dude has probably some of the best dialogue in this film because yeah. and the best acting is he just is like, all right, all right, I want do we reset it? He's like, don't fucking reset it. He's like, Charlie likes how it is. And you're like, all right, all right, I'm not gonna touch it. I think DJ, he has like talking about the, best the guy. Yeah. So yeah. I, I like uh, yeah, my I love, love, my favorite line with that guy is where he's <laughs> Dennis Leary, you know, has his whole stupid thing with the uh with the, the guy in the the bum, and which is like some bucks. bullshit. It's one of those like bootstrap bullshit kind of things. Uh, cigarette. And then, but then I love when he goes. He's like, "Can you believe I gave that guy five hundred bucks?" And he goes, "With that, the boots, you're out two grand." Two <laughs> grand. Yeah. You're talking, <laughs> about, you're talking about. You're talking about. Side eye. He's like. He's like. I saw you look at the fucking boots. He's like, I didn't look at the boots. He's like, I looked at you side of the eye. You saw the fucking boots. But I fully agree. I do like like Dean Steeler. I like the reason. Like I like the scene where he goes and beats up that guy, but it's totally unnecessary. Like the old like uh, hilt rapist guy. It's a cool scene, and like I like Dennis Leary. Like I like the dialogue, and I like the way it's written, and I like what happens and everything. But like I just kept thinking, I was like, anybody else could have been so good yes. at this. Like, uh, yeah, I also maybe that. put a person like, of color in that role. Here you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, Brad. I tweeted that, and this movie would be ten times better without him. And also. Like I love anything that had to anything Christopher Walken and his pitch black hair. Like he <laughs> ate this up, this movie oh, up. Like if a if a drop of Christopher water Walken is like talking one on one with one of the guys is so awesome. good. It's amazing. And but if the a flashback drop of water for walking with his long hair is incredible. That's what like I was this whole, mention, you could yeah. do this whole movie for just the flashback. <laughs> He's dancing. And the one thing he saved. 
It was like Jer- I think Jeremy Sisto is a fucking standout too. TK, the the, the, the yeah, kid who's like the, fucking doing the drugs addiction. in the bathroom. Yeah, like, I feel like that's another I feel thing like they're real good about that. peppering through, like, everybody's hiding something, so it keeps you guessing on who could be involved, because everybody's got just enough reason to be a suspect, except uh, except Johnny Galecki. I <laughs> thought it was Johnny Galecki, because he was the one who fucking didn't give it up at all. Yeah. So, wait for I saw Harry Knuckles, I'm like, well, you know, Ira, probably Jewish, you know what I mean? Be, I knew it. Yeah, I went, I yeah, thinking. But yeah, overall, the movie is kind of a fun premise, but there's a bunch of editing and visual choices that, and and score, like Joe mentioned the rain scene. The yeah. fucking soundtrack goes up to 11. With well, they bring that song back to the end. Like, like they, they, that's the song for the big finale, too. So they need you to, like... Get a like remember that song so when they bring it back, it means something later. Even though that scene is one of those usual suspect scenes, it never happened. That no. whole thing with them in the rain, kissing, getting kidnapped, never happened. It's just a totally made up, unreliable narrator, you know. Yeah, they but show the, us the, the, thing, uh, but it's sailboat scene, story. Sailboat scene, Tim yeah. Roth in the bathroom in Reservoir Dogs. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I hated uh, Johnny Galecki, like, it was one of those characters that are unnecessarily dumb. Like, oh, but what is happening here? And what about this? And look at that guy. Where, what are we doing here? Like, dude, connect the dots. Like, you're, like, it's pretty straightforward. There's a dude well, strapped to the highest paid actors of all You cut off his finger? Yeah. It what was also, like, like, also oh, like, fuck. they put out, like, that scene where he's, like, he's, like, where'd you get my, like, the whole, like, security system in his parents' bedroom where he knew where the gun was. But he's, like, you show us the gun every fucking summer. Like, he must have a dark side where he gets fucking hammered and is like, this is my dad's gun. Watch me with my dad's gun. Like, well, he clearly wants to impress the these guys. He's like low man on the totem pole and whatever. Yeah. Um, the, the alcohol scene just bothered me so much. Oh, yeah. With it was Johnny very Well, he's filling up with Evian and the fucking uh, the funnels and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, and then and then you look at the liquor cabinet and it's just like Maker's Mark. It's just like six bottles of Maker's Mark. Well, the first drink that fucking uh, Christopher Walken asked for when he gets in the bar is Maker's Mark on ice. It was Maker's Mark, yeah. yeah. I don't know and this I'm movie's like, fucking funded be... by it, but why not? It's like I Zach did Snyder. Love... He's like, hey. Maker's Mark. I did like the, the pinky reveal. That, but my thought was like, that would be a really cheap bottle to replace Johnny Glucky. Yeah, so it's just yeah. 20 bucks. Yeah, and you're clearly old enough to buy booze. Just put it back. Well, I think he was more mad that they broke the lock on the cabinet than anything, too. Like, that's not cool. They yeah, did fuck this nice. place up. Every chair that had duct tape on it, that chair's ruined. Those like those are like yeah. antiques. Yeah. Those chairs are fucking ruined. They fucked and that dude's he, life up. <laughs> and then he just destroyed all the bases. Too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But like even like um uh like did anyone get sad like once you realized if you want to like wrap this up or like get into like the end of the film like did anyone get sad for fucking uh Bill, uh the Garrick uh Garrett character and uh, what's his name when they got shot at the end? Oh, the Brad Garrett, the fake yeah. I, well, it's like it's one of those. Things I got where upset because Christopher Walken looked like he was upset. He was like, "Fuck." <laughs> yeah, well, it's a thing where they legit were like that's the thing like. It's one of those twisty ones you gotta kind of like. Those guys are legit bad guys. They did threaten Henry Thomas. Yeah. They were gonna like kill him or make him do a kidnapping on his on his sister. But then the sister and the boyfriend like come like kind of circumvent and are like, "You don't even have to kidnap. We'll get the money and it'll be even easier." And blah 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 blah. So it's like I feel bad for him to some extent, but they were scumbags. Like they were totally gonna do the thing. They just didn't end up having to that time. He did pull a gun on his friend and stick it to his head, and like, just happened to get lucky that he didn't bro- blow Brad Bad Garrett's brains all over the house. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm looking. I'm kind of sad that because I'm, I got excited when I, he came on screen, but I think this is, is this during or pre everybody else Raymond? It would have to be during. Like, Ninety seven. That's during. That. I think. Well, that's be early. Ninety seven. It was like the first or second season. Because I saw him and I was like, oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be more, but it was very, like, limited and very one note. So I was disappointed with his character. I just realized where I know his partner from. He's the new fish from Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, new fish. I couldn't, I couldn't piece it together last night. Did he? Well, one did guy they, was in Clueless. 
Did they yeah, get yeah, the, was, uh, the drug uh, the druggy? Yeah, the yeah. Drug. Everybody loves Raymond was ninety six. So yeah, this was like he would have just kind of started one. on everything. Yeah, yeah he, he probably, probably like didn't think before, it was gonna, you know. He knows. probably didn't think he was gonna get picked up or something, you know. Oh, the first couple seasons uh, you're on a show, you're still a working actor. You know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta yeah. get out there. Um I don't know. He, it's like so that last like 10, 15 minutes when things started getting violent. Um I was saying, how did you guys, as first time watchers, how'd you feel about the reveal of the truth of what happened? Did you get, did you, were you ahead of it at all? Did anything surprise you? I didn't realize it was a fucking cat. Spoilers, by the way. They're talking about like feed her, do the whole oh, thing, yeah, yeah. keep her in the room. Um, I mean, Sarah had picked Henry Thomas. I was watching with Sarah, and she got sucked in, and she had picked yeah, Henry Thomas. I, I love, and him. I remember, like, I kind of didn't remember when I started, but like, as soon as I was ten minutes into the movie, I pe- I remembered everything. I knew exactly what was going to happen. Uh, I knew it wasn't fucking Patrick Flannery. I knew it was probably going to be the brother. Um, I, I love Henry, Henry Thomas. Thomas. Gangs of New York. Let's go. But um. He's great in this. Actually, I think everybody, yeah. despite, I also agree with, um, hey, relax, you with Yusuf. I don't like Dennis Leary and I don't like Jay Moore, but I yeah. do think they both get pretty good performances in this, despite being totally, despite Leary being totally unnecessary. I, I, do, um, I like do, good, I, like, there is a moment, here. actually, there is a moment I have it right now, actually. The bartending scene. That is a legit good moment when he's that like, oh. Boy? He gives them like money, and he's like, "Oh, don't worry, Christopher well, Walken it? treats me right." He's well, like, "All right, cool." Oh, you're like, Fuck you, man. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Dennis, <laughs> that's funny. Dennis Leary felt like someone, uh, like how someone probably in the Eternals is gonna be like. Oh. I don't know. We're just able to get Kumail, so we just filmed a few scenes with him in it. That's what Dennis Leary felt like. It's like so, we're able so, to get, we're able to get Dennis. Brian, do you want to tell like the whole like twist of this before I fucking tell what I want to say at the very end of this film that made me angry? Oh no, I think I kind of spoiled it already. Like you find out that Henry Thomas has gambling debts, so he sets up his own sister's kidnapping. But then there's a double twist where you find out that she's not really kidnapped; she's in on it, and they kind of her and Stephen Dor or no, I'm sorry, I want to call him Stephen Dor, Sean Patrick <laughs> Frank Flannery, her boyfriend, who's her boyfriend. That's good. Kind of like. Yeah circumvent and they're going to split the money with the robber guys and uh they're going to run away together let me ask you guys a question you're Sha- you're sean patrick flannery you just got out of the or Stephen Dorf, Dorf, whichever Zach. whoever you are yeah you're jack though you have abs you get out of the ocean you fucking got pecs biceps and you <laughs> you get on the ship you see a fucking ring right regardless of what you think's going to happen it's Christopher Walken, mind you. What how, what age do you think he is? It was his, mid to late sixties. Okay. <laughs> now, now you see, uh, uh, what's his fucking face? Uh, his his driver. Dennis Leary. Dennis Leary. Leary. How old do you think he is? Uh, his forties. Good with the gun, right? Maybe, maybe good with yeah. the gun. Maybe quick. If you're sitting there and you see that fucking ring and do the whole thing, like, where's the money? I would. Me, I would beat the shit out of Dennis Lee. Oh, you just get shot. No, <laughs> you just shoot. dude, dude, I'll be like this. I'll be like, Hata, hata, and I'd attack him and fucking dig in and fucking drop him on the fucking back and just do this whole like, bang, 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 <laughs> bang, bang, bang. And then I grab bang, fucking bang, 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 bang. Quit grabbing again. me, bang, bang. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say more realistic would just be like fuck the girl and dive into the ocean and swim. Oh, that's what I thought you were going. Yeah. <laughs> Look for air bubbles. I go up, go up. You just arch <laughs> back into the water <laughs> like what? A dolphin. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Just we'll also, like right. right above the water <laughs> line. Just right. it like that. That's right. <laughs> the fuck that shit. <laughs> no, yeah, it was kind of, and, and the ending was so badly edited. Oh, terrible. Yeah. It went well, grainy, and well, yeah, it, they were trying to do like an artsy thing with the yeah, killings. Oh. Maybe that might have been a like, I don't know, maybe that was a rating. Well, this is a, th- a rated R movie, movie though. It's R. It well, my whole thing was, was happy I thought it was going to end happy. And I'm glad it ended sad, where like people got murdered. Yeah, it has the There's right no ending. This you know, yeah. no, it, it ended happy. happy. It ended oh, happy so because Christopher That's Walken was the best character. It he was. He deserved his money back. It was really the best character. It also had the and most down. '90s ending though, with that like kind of pop song playing and everyone just like 
doing their thing after the the crime, you know, oh, like yeah. this the events after pre like the boat at its cut and them dying. It just felt the most nineties where it was about to be like, and so and so died in a fire, blah blah blah. Got rich it's off of like Bitcoin. A- I mean, I don't know. I guess Henry Thomas is cool. Is his debt wiped clean? Because, like, those two guys, Hitman got killed, but they were just working for somebody, right? Like, so that yep. money had to go up oh, the man, ladder to someone. Man, so, and that cat has no one to take care of her now. Well, I, bet Christopher, well, I think Christopher Walken and Dennis Leary took that cat with them. So the last, like, uh, ten minutes of the movie, uh, Laura uh, was out to dinner with her girlfriends, and they all came back, and I was watching it. And they sat down and they reacted to like, I was not reacting to anything in the movie. And they were reacting to like the violent, the shots in the knee, the leg and like, you know, all the blood. And I was like, oh, you guys are having reactions. Like, oh my God, who's that? Who's that? And I was like, shut up. I'm just trying to finish this movie. <laughs> Sarah loves to come into the end of a movie like that. And, and they were like, that's how it ends. And I was I'm like, so yeah, I don't know. I've never seen it, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, scary. that's a, that's I don't scary. know. So we rewind Whoa. it. Want to watch the whole movie again with me? <laughs> it was like, yeah, oh, I always, I always go like, no, like, no, I can't. I'm not gonna explain you the entire fucking movie. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. <laughs> like after I'm always I answer, like, like, I'm one always like, hey. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just, I just. Oh, nobody's I, bothering I, me. I guess. <laughs> the, the worst part of the ending. I'll say this. Or at least my least favorite part of the ending on the boat is the way it was shot. How it doesn't compare with the rest of the movie. Yeah, and it goes dark. right into that it credit feels, well, with. The, it does vibe a little with like some of the flashbacks. The grain they use the grain and the like the flashbacks a little bit, but yeah. it's bad. bad All right, are we, are we ready, Yusef? Is it time? Let's go into the race. The rating. Rate, stink, rate, this, movie, rate, movie, movie. How would you know uh, how much TJ. you like something if you don't give it a numerical value, guys? That's true. PJ, what do you think? I'm going to go a clean 7.5. This one was fun. I loved the, like, the, a lot of like, the uh, talk and the, like, uh, it had Tarantino feel, but if, like, Tarantino was like, I'm going to go PG-13, like, it was it's just, it's and, good dialogue and it feels yeah. natural between friends. Like those yes. guys feel like they know each other. They feel like they have a, like and even like the a, the day more part where like he's like fucked up between like fucking up Sean and fucking up Henry, where he just like he just wanted to be like the boss of like this crazy ass like group of guys, and he's like, "What the fuck is happening?" Like, guy sucks, but at that point it was dope. So I guess some part five. guys being dudes. That was the best yeah. part of this whole. Movie. Guys being Saturdays dudes. are for the boys. Just throwing out, just throwing out. The scene it's where the uh, where the where the security guard almost catches them, and then they're in there playing. They look like they're about to play poker. Joe yeah. was like, "Finally, the movie's starting. All right, they're about to do some cool shit." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I I I I didn't like this as much as uh, as TJ. And uh, before I rank it. Um, is this the second? Because uh, I feel like on Flyer we've done a lot of these Tarantino.
No, yeah, it's your Ryan. turn, Joe. Now it's time for you oh, to pick the movie. Froze. Said you had some. Said He's you were frozen. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. Let's no, go. Just <laughs> no, no. So no, uh, no game this time. I already did my game. Um, there's a movie that has been like being referenced. I feel like the past year of my life, all the time, and it's finally. I've never seen it. I'm finally gonna pick it to watch, and it's never been kissed. Oh, okay. I've okay. never seen it. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. This came oh, up. I, we were talking. I was. I mentioned it when we watched just one of the guys. And yeah. He had said he had never that's, seen it, and I said that seems strange for you, based on what I know about Joe. Yeah. Never been kissed seems like a movie he should Has definitely Laura have seen. Has Laura ever seen it? No, she's never seen it either, to my that's, knowledge. That's what? Another one about a lady journalist. Uh, what? What? When are you guys getting married? If you don't mind putting that out there. September twenty fifth. We're already married, but. Yeah, I mean, but. The damn, wedding. Who's yeah. gonna make y'all feel something? Because that movie. It's me. Yeah, no, our our friends mentioned it, talk about it frequently. It's truly a movie I have been putting. I'm not on a rom com like, guy, but I do enjoy. Uh, and and missed. and yeah. I think Brian's meant like like enough people have mentioned it where I think actually it was just one of the guys where I said that's my next movie. I will I will put like, that on because so never been kissed. Drew Barrymore <laughs> never been kissed. James Franco We're just got up with background characters. Let's go. Oh yeah, she Jessica would have been too, on. Right? Uh, yep. Jessica Alba would have been on uh, Secret World of Alex Mack at that time. Oh yep, yep. Yeah. Brian, where can people find you? Oh hey, you can find me on uh, on Twitter at Herscules. You can find me doing a Flyover State of Fear whenever that comes out. You can find a flyby about Days Confused in American Graffiti that's coming out or is out maybe already. So find me here and find me there. DJ. You guys can find me at TJDex on Twitter.com. You have his fucking nail on all these episodes. Get them out as early as possible. I'll be on a Flyover State of Fear in early August because me and Joe are going to be filming together. Yes. Um, other than that, uh, just check us out, man. Like, subscribe, and do that whole fucking stupid ass bullshit that everyone says. Yo, promote the shit out of your stuff. Yo, uh, they already mentioned it. I have flyover sitting. We're stacking episodes right now. I feel like I'm recording this horror show every week. Uh, it was inspired by, obviously, Flyover State of Film. And the guy is just pointing out all I fucking talk Stand about is horror movies or pick. And uh, I can't wait. We have some really fun guests booked um, on the show. Yeah. Next week drops the first episode. Yeah. You could find me at Chandango. Bye. 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 Bye.